All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here. Check it out. So what we're looking at is the beginning of a 12 and a half inch AR-15 pistol build. Now, this is a little bit out of the norm because the majority of the AR-15 pistol builds are, well, 10 and a half inch, 7 and a half inch, 8 inch. But I've never really seen anything out there with a 12 and a half inch barrel length uh, pistol build kind of thing on there. But in any case, I wanted to give this a shot. And once I put it together and mod modded it up, I was really impressed with how this actually fit my body. And one of the things that is very interesting about a 12 and a half inch barrel is that you're maintaining a lot closer to the original specified ballistics of the fire or the, the ammo that you're shooting. So it should be interesting to see how this goes out. We're going to take it out this week and chrono it and see how we get with different types of ammunition. So it'll be a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, we're going to take out the seven and a half inch, 10 and a half inch, 12 and a half inch, 14 and a half inch, 16 inch, 18 inch, and a 20 inch barrels. And we're going to chrono them with all the different ammos that we have out there. Everybody else has done that video and well, I'm going to join the party. So anyway, this has a 12 inch rail on it. And this is just a cheapo uh, eBay rail. I think I paid like uh, $39 or something for it, but I, these things hold up pretty well. And, um, that's one of the reasons why I've got them. I don't care if I ding them up because I treat my guns like a tool. I beat the hell out of them. They're not little uh, safe toys. Now, I might not shoot them as much. Each individual gun gets run a couple hundred rounds through it, and it goes in the safe because we've moved on to something else. But this is what I wanted to do. Now, this guy, I've already torqued this barrel nut down. This has the ballistic advantages. They're 5.56 NATO 1 and 7 twist, 4150 chrome molly barrel. And I am really looking forward to seeing how accurate this guy is. Just basically off of 55 grain, 62 grain, uh, 69, 75, and 77 grain. It's going to be interesting to see also how this compares and holds up with the BDC uh, from my favorite ACSS reticle. And we're going to be, this is kind of leading into another video coming down the road here in the next week or so. But in any case, we're going to go ahead and take this thing out and test it. Now, here's the bulk of the story. I know we're getting into this video. I have a gas block here and a gas tube. And one of my buddies, a good friend of mine, uh, WTF SoCal, he had his mother of all uh, <laughs> grindles and just had an issue uh, setting up for the gas block and how it fit. Now, there's a couple different ways that I mount a gas block. One is I actually put it in there and I'll blow through the barrel and cap it off right here and kind of check the optimum airflow. Another way is to mic it out, put a line and square it off. And also there are some other little things that you can do as far as jigs and that kind of deal. Not really something that I wanted to get involved in as far as the jigs were concerned, but this is for the guy that just wants to throw his uh, oh, gas block on there and get it sized in there. So we've got our gas port hole sitting right there. Also, we have a gas hole in the gas block. Let's see if I can get it right there. Now, one of the things that I do that is so simple and so easy, let me see, I gotta find an Allen wrench that'll fit this thing. Hold on one second. And I know that some companies do this by design, some don't, but it's pretty simple and easy. See, guys, You've got these screw holes right here. Interesting, I can't find a uh, Allen wrench. Set the, oh, there we go. That will, you can undo that Allen wrench screw and lo and behold, that gas port hole is lined up almost, well, actually not lined up almost, it is perfectly lined up with that screw hole. So what we're doing and this is just a real quick video for you guys. I am going to slide this on here. And let me go ahead and unscrew that one screw all the way. Wouldn't hurt to go ahead and put a little lubricant on there just to help from scratching and marring up the barrel. But like I said, this is not something that I'm really going to use into a, uh, a showpiece. But also a good idea is just to reach in there make sure you don't have any burrs inside the gas block. What we're going to do is we're going to line it up. And instead of trying to line up the gas hole here, now you can mic it with a micrometer, but it's just as easy to go ahead and put it on here like this. And you can look and see how the gas port hole centers up 
with your screw hole. And I know that in order for this thing to be perfectly centered right there, it's going to give me a little bit of a gap between this throat on the barrel and where the gas block leans up. So a lot of people think that this thing butts up directly. A lot of times you're not going to get a perfect alignment on your gas hole and that's going to hold off from giving you a, a, the adequate gas in order to have the firearm cycle appropriately. And I've gotten into arguments with a bunch of people on this thing and then I've got this way and I got this way and I want to dimple it and I really don't care. But what I'm trying to show you guys is a simple way. If you have the two holes right here for your set screws, you can line it up right there. That'll give you your gap right here. Just put this thing in here just like that, line it up, and there you go. I know that I need a gap about that far for that hole to perfectly line up, and then it's just a process of lining it up perfectly, center line of the barrel. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put this thing on. We'll take it out this week, see how it shoots. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate in leaving them down in the comment section down below. We'll put a little blue Loctite on these screws, and we'll go ahead and install this thing, and we'll get them shooting this weekend. It's Boy 32 If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom comes in 5.56 five, shot out of a 12 and a half inch barrel. God knows we may end up coming to that one day. Let's go to Boy 32. Out.